Hi. What's the deal? Hey, do me a favor. Go to the whip and go get that weed. I left it in there. It's a whole blunt I rolled. I only smoke like a couple. G boy, what up, Esse? Britannia. Hey, what up? What up? The model home girl. What you doing? Um. Herman Cortez. What up, Herman Cortez? What y'all got popping today, man? Ain't nobody out for All-Star Weekend. Man, I got to show you. I have a, um, I don't know. Jay Neezy, what up, Jay 9 The homie Jay 9 in the building. Everybody know, hey, man, dog. Hey, look, you know what I hate about these pro club sweaters, man? You put them on, and they be having little balls inside of them. Like, even when you wash them, they still, like, you know, like, I don't know what it is, but that shit get all over your, all over the bald head. You know what I'm saying? Illegal, illegals. What up, what up, bro? What's the poppin'? What's the deal? Talk to me, man. Hey, J9, you ain't, you ain't at none of them parties? Them, uh, all-star weekend parties? Shit, I started to get ready last night. Lint, that's what it is, Lint. It's everywhere, fuck it. Hey, man, I started to get ready to go to some of the parties. I got a couple invites. I smoked some weed and I fell asleep, my niggas. Big Al, Southland, what up, what up? Mendoza, what up, what up? Yeah, man, you know, All-Star Weekend, that shit not for me, man. I'm going to have to go with Danny Garcia. Um, Yeah, you know what I mean? I pull up to All-Star Weekend, they fuck around and think I'm going to get Takashi. They don't want to let a nigga in and shit, you know what I'm saying? So I didn't want to go through all that. Because you know me, that I'm going to get heated and I'm going to talk shit to motherfuckers. You know how I go. Hey, look at this, though, right? Hey, hey, that's what's up, man. Shout out to the 818, man. I love everybody in the 818, even Rob's the one. Shout out my man, Rob's the one, man, from the 818, Panorama Simi. What up? Angel, what up, Angel? Damn, I got some smoke in my eyes, shit. Hey, yeah. <clears throat> Fuck 6 9 <coughs> Hey, everybody hates that dude, huh? I'm, I, everywhere I go, I see somebody talking shit about him. They're going to beat him up. They're going to do this and that. Hey, what up, man? Shout out to the whole Colorado. You know what I'm saying? I was just talking to Opina about going out there, too, man. Shout out to Opina. That's a good homie right there. He's a um, very talented dude, man. Y'all got to go check out his new video. He just hit a million views. So he got a million views on y'all ass. You know what I'm saying? Go fuck with him. Jacko, Jacko Boats, what up? Yeah, dog. <sighs> oh, Takashi, man. Everywhere I go, somebody talking shit about him. You gotta understand, man. <clears throat> Let's be really honest here, man. I'm gonna start talking. Let me talk to the people here. Do you really think Takashi Six Nine doesn't know that? If he came to L.A. talking all kind of thug shit, that real gangster motherfuckers ain't going to get at him. Of course he knows that shit, man. This shit entertainment, dog. This motherfucker talk all that gangster shit because he's on the safest places in the planet, dog. Trust me. I've been to all these radio events backstage. I've been to a lot of shit. I'm not saying that motherfuckers can't hit you, but you're not just going up in no show like 70 niggas deep to go beat up one dude. This is not going to happen, man. Police is everywhere. And these all-star weekend events, trust me, man, if you don't know somebody that knows somebody, if you ain't somebody famous, you're not getting in there, motherfuckers. I don't give a fuck who you are. Granted, I could get in a couple because I, I know a couple people. You know, I know a couple famous people. I know some radio people. 
so they can sneak my fat ass in, right? But you're not just gonna show up to some A star list event with like 70 motherfuckers and think you're finna get in there without police and some more shit going on. You know what I'm saying? That's just the reality of it. Okay, motherfuckers would have had a better chance of hitting him in Arizona than they would ever in LA. And that's just the reality of it. You know what I'm saying? Um, but, it, you know, fuck him. He's a, he's a chomo. I don't fuck with him. That's all I can say about him, though. It's like, I ain't going to be on the internet talking about that dude. I don't even know that dude. I mean, I mean, if I ever ran into him, you know, just on GP, I get, yeah, I'd slap him up real quick. But, I mean, I'm not going to jump on the internet. Hey, Takashi, I'm going to kill you, nigga. Whatever, man. It just is what it is, man. You know what I'm saying? I don't really have no opinion on all that shit. It's industry shit to me, man. That shit look like it's all promotional shit. You know what I'm saying? Like the kid, you know, he trying to sell records, man. He trying to get, you know, uh, he's doing it stupidly because I don't, whoever's with him ain't telling him all that bad press ain't going to do nothing for him. But, you know, whatever it is, what it is. Silent J, Silent Ray, what up? Silent J. What's the deal? Takashi will get dropped. Yeah, I mean, you know, chilling, man, just having some breakfast. Laker, hey, what up, my LBC boy in the building? What up, my boy? Hey, you know, what y'all need to do is Split D got a dope interview with me, man. Go flood that fool's page. It's time to release that shit. You know what I'm saying? Get ready to put this project out, man. Oh, I did a, um, I'm doing a record with Opina. He sent me the beat. And it's really dope, so I got a, a, a... Hey, that's what's up, man. I appreciate that. Shout out to Arkansas. No, I'm good. Hey, man, I always thought Arkansas was the littest place on the planet because I seen that video, the uh, the banging in Little Rock, Arkansas. Them white boys was hella turned up. They had big-ass shotguns and shit. Now, Split D the homie. I fuck with Split D. I think he the homie, right? I mean... Man, well, we, you know, we got some things in the works. I don't want to say too much about it, because if it don't happen, then I look like a weirdo. But, um, you know, hopefully soon, man. Hopefully within the next three months. You know what I'm saying? So I'll definitely be out there. Come fuck with the American dope boy. Hey, trip, right? So I was telling people, I was like, look, man, um, I'll be 100 with you. American dope boy, the product has brought me more money than my rap career ever has. That's that's the reality, right? And you got to think, like, I sell American Doughboy on a very minuscule level. Not not by choice, but just because we have to build the brand. So, you know, you can take that from there. I'm definitely not rich from rap. But um, I was telling somebody, I was like, it's a trip that because we created the brand, you know, to make the merchandise. And it's like, it's, people are starting to really only know me for that. The fucking um, American Doughboy. Like, people calling me American Doughboy, but... You know, that's what's up, man. Finally, we created some, you know what I'm saying? But I appreciate everybody who supports the clothing brand and all that. Yeah, J Justin Credible, he's a fucking homo. I ain't fucking with him, you know what I'm saying? He's a, he's a, hey, you know the cool part about that? All right, look, they had everybody doing all that tagging on there and all that. But that shit wasn't no real list. Like, they wasn't putting no... The, all them people on that list are, 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 are borderline mainstream artists already or like artists that have national attention. They was never looking to put any underground people on there. So, you know, they had us fooled in that light. They just wanted us to go over there and blow their shit up. You know what I'm saying? It's all good. But, you know, that, that list was made before they even put it out. You know what I'm saying? Because I done seen that list on multiple... um Hip hop outlets and everything else, so that ain't no new list right there. That they, they was never there to look for the underground artists or the underdog or nothing like that. You know what I mean? So it just is what it is. You know what I mean? Fuck them. So you know he got what he deserved. The people, the people spoke. They said he was a sucker, and all he has to do is accept that and, and keep it moving. I mean, I'm pretty sure it didn't do too much to him. You know, he looked like he sell out shows and all that. So you know he'll be all right. You know, we just. Let them know how we felt, you know what I'm saying? Everybody got an opinion. You already know. You already know, man. Cut A to the death. But, uh, man, I finally made me some breakfast this morning, right? I don't be cooking, but the last few days I've been cooking and, uh, 
I'm actually good at it, man. You know, I'm actually pretty good at everything I do, so. <laughs> nah, I'm just fucking around, man. Let's pull up on him. Who on Takashi or the or, or or Jay Credible? Man, shit, Jay Credible, he already he'll he'll be on the lookout because Joe Moses and them already slapped him up a couple years back. People don't know that, but yeah, he been got choked out by Joe Moses and them. Hip hop Hector, what up, what up? Yeah, man, he been got checked, you know? Yeah, that fool. They been choked him out, Joe Moses and his homies in like Supper Club a couple years back and shit. You know, cause he got a history of being a sucker, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, the crazy part about it is Trip This, right? He probably don't remember, but a while back, uh, nah, never mind, cause that, telling the story is gonna put too many other people out there, so I'm, I'm gonna, um, People that might not necessarily, you know, you know how that shit goes. So I can't even really tell that story. But just, just, just know that I know that he's a sucker and he could suck my dick. You know what I'm saying? I, but I say that with all, you know, all the respect in the world. <laughs> Fern, scumbag, what up? Young Esco, what up? Damn, your name scumbag. Hey man, I ain't even gonna lie. If you told me your name was scumbag, I'd be definitely hesitant to fuck with you. I'll be like, oh, okay, your name's Scumbag, huh? That's what's up. <laughs> Martin Cl Classic, what up? What up, Martin? What's the deal? Pull up to the station next Friday. All right, what station is that? Flea Nasty, what up, Flea Nasty? That's a cold name right there, Flea Nasty. You know what I'm saying? Imagine you, you just pull up to... A Crowd of bitches and you like, yo, my name Free Na Flea Nasty, baby. What's poppin'? Uh, with Tyrant? Yeah, man, I talk to Tyrant all the time. I talked to him yesterday and shit. Yeah, man, I definitely, um, I wanna, yeah, we gonna do a collab. You know what I'm saying? We definitely gonna do one. I want, you know what? I'll be 100. I, I didn't, I didn't tell him to get on the record. Cause I see he doing his thing. I see he kind of blowing up. I don't want him to think like all of a sudden I wanted to do a record with him. You know what I'm saying? Cause I, I don't know. I just felt like he might think that, but he had hit me about it. You know, he asked me when we was going to do one. So I told him I'm going to put him on my new project and shit. Yeah. Okay. Nah. Yeah. Me, me, me and Tyra definitely going to get out. I don't really know who Trippy G is. I'm going to be 100 with you. Hey, that's what's up, man. I, shout out to the whole Colorado, for real. I already did a song with Cornejo. It's on YouTube right now. For, uh, he, he was on his last album. Cornejo sent me the record, like, maybe two weeks before he got locked up. And then I sent it back immediately, and then he got locked up, like, maybe two weeks later. So, you know, I got one in with Cornejo before he left, for sure. That, 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 that might be a, an idea right there. You know who I was really thinking of, right? Okay, look. Uh, a lot of y'all know I don't really, like, request records from a lot of people. I don't want to do records and all that. Uh, I want to get a record with, um, with my boy from San Diego, right? I want to get a record with him, and I want to get a record with this other dude. He's from Compton. Y'all don't know him. They not famous or nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like, they not big in the scene. They not nothing in the Mexican rap game. They still really trying to come up. But when I tell you about these dudes, they the hardest shit walking on the Mexican rap shit right now. Like, flow-wise, delivery, these motherfuckers are the hardest dudes and nobody know who they are. Trust me. I want to do a record with them motherfuckers because... I feel like they got heat, and I feel like it's going to be a challenge for me to keep up with them motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? They some young dudes, and, um, and they should just pure fire. Chunks, my nigga Chunks. Chunks is a beast. Straight beast. So I'm trying to do a record with Chunks, and I'm trying to do a record with the other homie from Compton, the one that did the... Um, the 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 uh, Latin Beast challenge, like those dude, those are who I want to do records with right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, and if you don't know who Chunks is, go check him out. He's from Dago. Punchlines on 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 Smash. You know what I mean? Like, if if I had the ability to do something for him, I'd have been did it. 
very talented dude, man. So if you don't know who he is, go look him up. His name Chunks. He's from San Diego. And he's ripping all this shit down. You know what I'm saying? Um, the other dude, he from Compton. I don't remember his name off the rip. I talked to him a lot. Um, another dude, check him out. He, he's on that uh, Latin Beast Challenge. Oh, as a matter of fact, um, you know the YouTube scoop that put all the Mexican stuff up? He's on his YouTube for the freestyle, and that shit is ill. So I want to get him on the record, too. So us three on the record, man, I feel like, um, you know, you're going to get the hungriest shit from the underground, bro. Like all this other shit, you know, it's cool and all that. I feel it. You know, I want to get on, too. But, you know, they're not doing it like how these other motherfuckers is doing it coming from the ground up. That's where you're going to get that real raw shit. You know what I'm saying? And, uh... I'm trying to get a people to real raw and uncut, you know what I mean? So I'm, I'm trying to fuck with them before I'm trying to fuck with anybody famous. I feel like these these famous motherfuckers, they they, they too comfortable, man. I, I, need to, I need to be in the ring with motherfuckers that got something to prove. Because in turn, that's going to um, that's gonna take me to that spot, you know what I mean? I need that hunger constantly in order for me to stay ill as an MC. You, you dig what I'm saying? Real talk. So, you know, I'm, I'm I'm looking for those collaborations, man. You know what I mean? Anybody else, man, if you got a, a ill-ass homie, you know what I mean, that maybe he ain't been rapping too much or he ain't really got some views, you know, I got a little something going on right now. It ain't much, but throw him my way, man. If he ill, I put him on a song. Shit. I'm trying to get this hard shit cracking. You know what I mean? I want that real gutter shit. You know what I mean? You got to keep me You gotta keep me ready and, and, and oiled up and all that, man. You know what I'm saying? Pause. Trying to stay fit out here, man. These young boys, you know what I'm saying? That part. Yeah, yeah, I fuck with Zapata. That fool produced a couple of my records, actually. He produced, um... He produced a record that I did. It was like a like a like a long run through record that I did, and I filmed a video for it when I went up to San Francisco. Shout out to San Francisco. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to everybody in the Bay, man. Shout out to Bay Recon. Uh, shout out to Smiley Lokes. Shout out to um, I don't know his name. He's from the Bay Recon though. He's the like the chunkier dude. He's the hardest dude to me right there. Shout out to him. Um. What is it, Mad S? Shout out to Mad S, you know what I'm saying? He from uh, from Sakura, I think, man. Shout out to everybody up north doing their thing, man. Shout out to the to the whole movement out there, all the homies from the Bay, you know what I'm saying? Who from L.A.? Oh, Carlos, oh! Yo, chili eating motherfucker, what, what's popping? Silent. Yeah, yeah, yup. Yeah. Hey, shout out to all them fools up there, man. Ain't doing anything up there, man. Um... The Bay Recon people, the homies, they definitely getting it up. They getting it in up there. So support, to, you know, support all that shit up there. You know what I mean? They got, they got some shit going on up there. Carlos, so what's up, fool? Oh man, that's all right. I don't want no problems with six nine, man. You know what I'm saying? Definitely don't want no problems with him on the social media. Sess one, what up? See, let me see. I don't want. I want to make sure I didn't miss nobody here. Lucky Jan, my bad if I if uh, I didn't touch you when you when you jumped in the chat. Um, Division Mo, what up, Mo? The homie Mo, what up, what up? Oh, um, scumbag, what up? I see you, scumbag. <laughs> Sess one, what up, what up? Talk to me, boy. What's popping? Let me know what it is. What's up with Spliff, man? I ain't, I ain't seen him on his lives lately and shit. You know what, man? I fucked up too, right? I was, to go, I was supposed to go meet up with fucking out with money. And I didn't. Because I got high. So fuck. But, uh, hey, man, make sure you go check out money shit too. He got a uh, new mixtape that just dropped. Tree Side Volume 1, that shit hard. I got a record on there with him, but he got this one song on there. What's cracking? Block Uno, what up, Block Uno? What's popping? Uh, he got a song on there, he got a video for it. Hard as fuck. You gotta go check that out, man. I've, I've been bumping that a little bit lately too, myself. You know what I'm saying? Oh, 
Oh, shout out drummer. I don't know, man. You gotta get that drummer. Let him know. We're gonna do a record. Um, he he fucking left a comment when I did the freestyle for the beat. He thought it was hard. You know what I'm saying? So that's an easy one right there. I'm pretty sure we can make that happen. Um, I want to do some records with some people. I just don't want to tell y'all who I want to do them with. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to. I would um. I think I've already told people I, I wouldn't mind doing a record with Sebo. Um, I actually would like to do a record with Sebo. He's he's a, he's another person that I wouldn't mind doing a record with. Uh, I got my I got my motherfucking uh, I got my money either on the dude from Compton or like this fat dude from the 909 that wrapped over like a microphone like hella fast and shit. I got my money on him or the dude from Compton. I think they was the best ones. Yeah, that fool that I posted on my Facebook. I think I think he got the best chance. Damn, that you going back in the day, boy? Lyrical drive by shit when I man, that was a while ago, bro. 2013. I was still dating strippers back then. That's what's up. You know, fuck, man. I had to stop dating strippers. I just date women that have bodies like strippers now. You know what I'm saying? It, that, you know, it eliminates all the other drama. <laughs> That's what's up, though, man. Lyrical drive-by. That was a dope one. You know what? I ain't going front, though, man. I feel like I could have did a lot more back then if I would have just rapped in my natural tone like I do now. I feel like... um. I feel like that kind of alienated me a little bit to when I used to rap that way. I didn't know, I didn't think it then, but, you know, now I do. I feel, because if you notice, like, we had a little bit of fans back then, but they just wasn't, some was missing from it. And then, you know, when I changed to start to rap in my normal tone is when, you know, people started to really pick up on me. You know what I'm saying? That's what's up, man. Laker fool, I appreciate that, bro. That's real shit right there, because, um... Fuck, lyrical drive by was that pre elimination? Damn. That 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 was I put that on that on that uh That was on the pre elimination album. I, I was thinking of putting on uh, if if any of you know me from back then, I was thinking of putting out that project, the Valkyrie, pre elimination, and um there was another one after that. I think it was just Valkyrie and pre elimination. I was gonna put them up on uh on Spotify, you know what I mean? Because I felt like those were um those were like when I had kind of pretty much perfected that that style, in my opinion. Though those those two projects were hard. Um, I got them in a I got them in a flash drive up in Carson where I used to record. So I got to get a hold of the dude to try to get those. But I think if I put like a real mix and mastering on them, because that's another thing, right? I don't know if I'm getting too technical for y'all, but a long time ago, I never really mixed and mastered my music like that. You know what I mean? So I think that had a lot to do with it too. I, it wasn't that I really understood the um the point of mixing and mastering until I hooked up with Glasses Malone in them. And then once I started recording and, and you know, once I got a part of Glasses Malone's label, that's when I really understood the um importance of mixing and mastering. So, you know, if you're a rapper and you're watching this, like it's very important to mix and master your music. Because the best way I could describe it is like you're not operating to a hundred thousand. I mean, you're not operating at ten unless your your shit. Is you see what I'm saying? Mixing and mastering is basically like, okay, you ever put somebody music on and you turn it on and the shit sound hella like loud and cloudy and shit, right? That's because they shit not mix and master. When you mix and master your shit, you go through all the beat, every sound, you put it all levels. That's why, like, if you ever notice and you get some of these albums, you put them in and you could put your radio at barely like five and the shit's just knocking out of control. That's because they had a really good mix and master. Sound makes everything better. You feel what I'm saying? Like, because they, you know, you might be rhyming, there might be an ad lib that clash with what you said. And so you might not be able to understand what the fuck you're saying. When you mix and master, they uh, they level all that out to where the listener can hear not only your ad lib, but your vocals very clearly. You feel what I'm saying? And that way you get the um. Don't get in the rap game. It's not for you. It's not for me, my nigga. I'm just trapped here. There's no money in it. Um. 
that you know, and if they and if you do get some money, you gotta work very, very hard, my nigga. Trust me. I've been doing this shit for a minute, and I'm barely starting to get paid off the shit. You know what I'm saying? Go to college. Go. That that's if, if we trying to um, if we want my advice on that level, nigga, finish high school, go to college, go get a career. Uh, if you finna do some rap shit, do it for the love of it. Don't do it for the money. You know what I'm saying? Um, and if you're good at what you do, eventually the money will come. It might take a minute though. And, uh, you know, that's all I can say on that. You know what I'm saying? All right, family is everything. What up, what up? Did you get the jacket yet? I sent the uh, American Dope Boy um, bomber jacket. That's real shit. I'm gonna be 100 with you, man. Music isn't for everybody, bro. Um, if you're not here just to be talented, like, for the love of the music... It's going to be hard for you to, you know, to deal with a lot of the bullshit you got to deal with here. King Sin, what up? Man, and don't, you know, a lot of people have this misconception. They think you be a rapper and boom, money just comes in. For the most part, you're going to be spending money. If you want to be a legitimate artist and you want a legitimate career, you're going to be spending money. Because all these motherfuckers that be like, oh, I don't pay for this and I don't pay for features and this, that. Those are all the broke rappers, you know. Because let me tell you something. Them motherfuckers ain't getting past their garage because they not paying nobody. This game right here is all about finances, bro. Like, yeah, you might be able to um build relationships with certain people that you might not have to pay them for shit. But if they're a major label artist, then you got to go get their label to sign off on that shit. You dig what I'm saying? There's all type of, like, ins and outs of this shit. It's an investment, bro. Like... If you're not signed to a label, you're paying for everything. And the people that say they're not paying for everything, they're never going to be nothing. They're fucking stupid because that's what the label's doing. They're paying for everything. The label's paying these radio DJs to spend their shit. Every motherfucking 15 minutes, they're paying for advertising spots on internets and motherfucking um, Hollywood. When you see the fucking shit that, that's put on the walls that looks like a sticker poster or whatever, everything's being paid for. That's all paid for promotion. To invest into whatever product that they putting out You know what I mean So I always hear these stupid motherfuckers out here Saying they ain't paying for this They ain't paying for that Well that's because That's why don't nobody know you nigga You know what I'm saying Straight up These motherfuckers are stupid out here That's what's up man I appreciate you Laker food man That's that's a real follower right there You've been following me for a minute Supporting me So I definitely appreciate him Look man I gotta go though if you could do a couple collabs, any of the older Chicano artists, who would you be done? <coughs> um, I already did a collaboration with uh, Mr. Shadow. I fuck with Shadow. I thought he was probably one of the dopest. Um, if I, Frank V, I do a record with Frank V. Frank V's hard. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with Frank V. Um, Cornejo, I done already did a record with Cornejo. Um, shit, I don't know, man. That's about it, really. I mean... Um, royalty, he been talking to me, you know what I'm saying? So we might do a, a couple of songs or something. Um, but other than that, you know, that's it. Like, okay, look, let me tell you my favorites in Chicano rap, um, would have to be, and, and this is my honest opinion, the best ones that I believe is, um, Cornejo. I believe Cornejo is the king of Chicano rap, like I think everybody else does. Um... Mr. Shadow, one of the hardest, if not, you know, top five. Um, let me see who else. Kid Frost, I don't give a fuck what nobody say. His flow was ill. He got classics. I fuck. I've done songs with Kid Frost. Um, who else? Seldom Seen. I've done songs with Seldom Seen. Um, who else? And Royalty and them, and I'm, you know, most likely I'm gonna be doing some songs with them as well. So. Shadow, Shadow's one of the top lyricists for sure. You know what I mean? Shout out to, okay, Toker. Okay, when it comes to the brown side situation and Toker, I look at Toker on a whole nother level. I, I see Toker more like a boss. You know what I'm saying? He got a label. He paying for niggas' careers. So I, I, I look at more. He don't, I don't put him in the same category as the rapper niggas. You know what I'm saying? In my opinion, um... Toker, I definitely look up to what he's doing. The nigga a boss. I'm trying to do what he's doing, and that's run a real label and, and create careers for people. So I fuck with Toker on that level. You know what I'm saying? Um, GT Garza. GT Garza is one of the hardest, if not the hardest Mexican rapper right now. 
That's a good question, man. I don't know. You know, you got to ask them. I mean, I don't even like bed. I don't know, man. I'm, um, I was never really an SPM fan. You know what I'm saying? Um, no disrespect. I know a lot of people from his camp, so no disrespect to them. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know Caroline. I know Juan Gotti. Um, all my all my motherfucking homies from Texas. So, you know, no disrespect to them. I, I'm I'm just not. I never was an SPM fan. And um, so you know how I don't I don't see it how maybe I, I don't even want to say it's a bias because I know they believe a certain story. I guess, but I don't I don't support it. You know what I mean? And and. That's what it is, you know what I mean? I don't, I don't fuck with the SPM shit. Um, I fuck with everybody else in Texas that, that fuck with me. Mad love to GT Garza. I, I got, you know, I think he's dope as fuck, you know what I'm saying? But he cool, you know what I'm saying? Um, I, I don't even fuck with the whole scenario because I never even listened to the music, so that ain't even on my radar, you know what I'm saying? But I definitely don't support the charges and all that. I don't fuck with, I don't rock with none of that. That shit is some, you know, you already know how I feel about that. Same thing with the 6 9 dude. That's how I feel about it, too. He's a fucking chomo, and I don't fuck with him. Um, I'm not going to get on the internet and blast the dude, and I'm not looking for no fame. I don't need no shit like that. You know what I'm saying? All I know is I don't fuck with the dude. He's a fucking child molester. He can eat a dick, period. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's all I got to say about it. So what's the deal? Bandit, LA Bandit, what up? You know what? I, Night Out was cool. Night Out was all right, but I ain't going to say... He wasn't my favorite Chicano rapper. Um, Frank V was one of them. I ain't even gonna front. I fucked with Frank V. I thought his shit was hard. I thought Slow Pain was hard too. You know what I mean? I thought um, Mr. Shadow was hard. Um, but you know you gotta you gotta think too, man. San Diego is the birthplace of Mexican hip hop, in my opinion. I mean, don't get me on. Uh, let me rephrase that. It's not the birthplace of Mexican hip hop, but it's the mecca of Mexican hip hop in law in, in the West Coast. In regards to Chicano rap, that that's where it was really all. That's where everybody was really coming from. You know what I'm saying? And, and then it kind of trickled down, I believe. I know Frost and them came first, but I, I kind of look at Frost more on a hip hop level than I really do as a Chicano rapper. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like I don't necessarily look at um. Kid Frost is a Chicano rapper more than I look at him as like a hip hop artist, like a, 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 you know, he's a West Coast hip hop artist. You know what I'm saying? Never was really feeling little one like that. I ain't going front, you know, whatever. I don't give a fuck. I just wasn't feeling it. I definitely was feeling little Rob at one point. You know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, summer nights, all that shit. Na Matter of fact, I just listened to neighborhood music again the other day. Cause I was thinking about, um, Doing the remix on it, you know what I'm saying? Like doing the freestyle over the beat. You know, I fuck with Lil Rob. Like everybody fuck with Lil Rob. You know what I'm saying? That, Lil Rob had a hit record. You can't. You gotta fuck with Lil Rob. He's he's one of the. He's probably the biggest Chicano rapper there is. In all honesty, Lil Rob. Commercially wise, Lil Rob is the biggest Chicano rapper there is. King Lil G not bigger than Lil Rob. Uh, well, let me let me. At one point, King Lil G didn't get to the to the level. King Lil G hasn't got to the level that that Little Rob got to. <clears throat> um, hood shit sounds pretty good. The Young Dopey shit, I like it. You know what I mean? Um, I don't have it on play though. You know what I mean? I don't. It ain't something that I'll listen to every day. But he definitely got talent, and um, he's doing that gangbang shit heavy. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm gonna tell you who I'm listening to. I cause. Chino G, I fuck with Chino G heavy, man. Chino G's dope. <coughs> um, man, I feel like Chino G, his shit kind of fucked up. He just kept going back to the pan. That shit kind of really put a put a stop to what he was doing because I remember he was one of the biggest at one point. You know what I'm saying? Chino G was like right up there. Um, Milo Mac, um, Milo Mac, he's a cool dude, man. We've we, we, we've uh, exchanged on the internet before. I might do the neighborhood music remix. I ain't gonna front. Uh, I don't know who King Lil G this man. I don't really pay attention to him like that. He might have though. I think uh, I think everybody this Lil Rob at some point. Um, Milo Mac, he from High Power, right? He's from High Power, or he used to be. Um, yeah, like I said, I, we've spoken on the internet here and there. You know what I mean? That's a, yeah, that's about it though. 
I'm gonna definitely do the neighborhood. Yeah, I'm a, uh, yeah, I might do the neighborhood remix. I got some bars for that. You know what I'm saying? Who? What about you? Who you guys fucking with out here in LA, man? What, what, what y'all think about? Um, y'all fucking with Devour? I know he got a cool little movement going on. This shit look kind of big. Um, Jabba Loke is hard too, man. Jabba Loke, the uh. Devour, devour. That's what's up. I heard some of his shit. It sound, it sound dope. He got a YG feel. You know what I'm saying? He got a YG flow. Who's whack? Tell me who's whack.